Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 10th. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Grief counselors will be helping students and staff members at Leachfield High School after two students died in a horrific car crash yesterday morning. Police say a Volvo went off Rossi Road and down an embankment before smashing into a tree. Three other Litchfield High School students were also in the car at the time and have sustained serious injuries. Moving on now to the latest on the coronavirus numbers here in Connecticut. We are now exactly one week away from phase two of reopening. The number of people in the hospital right now is two thirds lower than it was just three weeks ago. We also know that an additional 87 people have tested positive and 13 more people have died. There are 31 fewer people in the hospital this morning, and the total number of hospitalizations have dropped to under 300. More than 4,000 tests were performed in the last day. During Governor Ned Lamont's daily briefing, he said that officials will continue to monitor any links between test results and large demonstrations. As long as hospitalizations and infection rates remain low, Lamont says we are in a good position for phase two to take place on June 17th. It includes opening up indoor dining, gyms, nail salons, hotels, and outdoor events of up to 50 people and a few other things. So for some more information on phase two, head to the Channel 3 app. Now over to Scott. All right, thanks, Nicole. Temperatures today are going to take off in the mid-80s. That's above average. 78, 79 is the normal daytime high for this time of year. Not only are those temperatures going to be moving up, so are those dew points. The humidity is going to be rather high today and again tomorrow. Overnight lows tonight dropping into the mid to over 60s. Yeah, it's going to be a warm, muggy night tonight with partly to mostly cloudy skies. There will be some passing showers around tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon... We do run the risk for some showers and even some thunderstorms. Some of those could be locally heavy downpours tomorrow afternoon. Anytime after 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon until about 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow evening, we run the risk for those showers and, again, possibly some thunderstorms. Friday and Saturday look good. We dry things out. The humidity lowers. Sunday, unfortunately, mostly cloudy with some passing showers. But, again, Saturday is the pick of the weekend. Have a great day, everybody. I'm Scott Haney from the west end of Hartford wishing you all a wonderful afternoon.